One of the largest mariachi concerts in the nation takes place each year in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Mariachi Spectacular brings together stars of this art form from across the United States and Mexico. But this is just a small part of a week-long program. The real heart of Mariachi Spectacular begins beating days earlier with the arrival of those who have studied and played this form of music for most of their lives. During a week-long conference, they will share their skill, knowledge, and passion with students from every corner of America. The guiding force behind all of this is co-founder and executive director Norberta Fresques. The, the reason that the program uh, started was, I think, an answer to a dream to bring more music appreciation to young people, and, and especially a music that's part of their heritage. Yeah, this is very unique. This program, Marish Spectacular, and the conferences is very unique. Recording artist and composer Jose Hernandez has been a part of Mariachi Spectacular from its beginning in 1991. He's like a sixth generation within his Hernandez dynasty of mariachi musicians. His father was one of the first mariachis to arrive in this country. Norberta had talked to me about you know, her idea of starting a mariachi festival and a conference and, and things like that. And I told her, hey, I'm, I'm with you. I gave her a whole bunch of numbers, you know, the people that I had worked with, you know, that I thought were very important to, to, to the growth of this music and for, for it to be passed on, you know, in a very dignified way, you know, in an honest way, not in a biased way. And before the first students arrive, these teachers come together for a day of music review. It is important that they be in agreement about the music to be taught. Mariachi music for, for generations and generations had been passed down by ear and it really had not been written in a form that young people could learn to play. The first note on the pickup is also, it's a quarter note for the for It's violence. very difficult to put mariachi music into written music. You, you understand what I mean? It, it's, it's such a heartfelt music. You know, it's something you, you can't. It's very di difficult to write it down, you know, uh, to notate it. But uh, that's why we get together just to try to make it as close as possible so we could be able to, to project it to the kids and to teach them, look, th these are the dynamics of the music. The master teachers come together and play it. They play each song and they, and they go round and round until they agree that that is the way that it should be played and taught to students. Among these prestigious instructors are those who are truly legendary, pioneers in this art form. People like Don Jesus Rodriguez de Ijar. He was the musical director and made most arrangements for Mariachi Vargas de Tecaliclan, the one reputed world's best mariachi. He was their musical director and arranger for over 20 years. Rigoberto Alfaro, uh, all the top recording artists from Mexico that record with mariachi, they go to Rigoberto Alfaro. And then Miguel Martinez. This gentleman actually developed the two trumpet style that, that is heard throughout the world today. Juan Pinzon, oh my goodness, another one. He's got to his credit compositions and has also contributed a lot in the form of arranging style and preserving that authentic, traditional mariachi style. It's almost parallel to, you know, a young jazz artist having Dizzy Gillespie, you know, and Miles Davis coming and giving a class. But in mariachi, that's what these gentlemen are. You know, Don Jesus Rodriguez de Ijar, Don Rigoberto Alfaro, Heriberto Molina that has been part of this, uh, Victor Cárdenas, who was part of this, Don Arturo Mendoza, Don Miguel Martinez. But for these children to be able to, to uh, learn from these gentlemen, it's a great opportunity. And it's only here in Albuquerque that, that it happens. It doesn't happen any other place in the world. Mariachi Spectacular began with just 60 students. Now more than 10 times that number gather at the University of New Mexico to see and hear those with whom they will study this music. 
The students come from every corner of the United States and Mexico. Last year, there were like 28 states represented in the conference. And Chihuahua, the neighboring or border state that borders with New Mexico, we had students from Chihuahua as well. I think one of the most important things is, is the love and respect for the teachers, for the master's teachers, for all the teachers that are involved here. It's really amazing. It's something like a reunion that you're never going to see anywhere else. It can make you want to play, play better in front of them, and then you want to impress them. And it's before these masters that the most advanced students will audition. Many have been coming to this conference for years, hoping to become good enough to win a spot in the master's class. It's not easy. I don't know how many we auditioned, but about 40, 50. They have to play their instrument in front of these masters, you know, mariachi masters, icons of the music. It is pretty nerve-wracking. If you want to be up there with the big dogs, you have to get your stuff done. You have to practice. I practice about two hours every day. It's practice, practice, practice. Like more than three hours every day. <laughs> You're getting better every year. I, I love it. I love it. These are the most advanced students, and many have classical training. All have been playing for years, but Mariachi Spectacular is not just about them. One, two, uh. In classroom after classroom, even beginning students learn from master teachers. While advanced students are praised for their accomplishment and encouraged in the honing of their skills, it is the youngest of these students that are truly treasured. When I, when I see the young, the young children, that was my dream. Right there, and your thumb on top. Tiny little tots learning the music and, and having that opportunity to experience it. It's probably, for me, the most satisfying, the most rewarding of anything because we were able to start the very first elementary school mariachi program here in Albuquerque. And those kids are now graduating from high schools. Here is dedication and commitment. No one requires this of them. No one insists they be here. Still, every year they show up, and they show up in increasing numbers. It is something they want, and something they understand requires work. And work is what they are given. An intense three days of study, and yet when the day's work is done, they do not stop. The most beautiful sounds can be heard in different shaded areas under a tree or on some steps, kids preparing and rehearsing. And then you continue to see it at the hotel. They come, they eat, and then they're, they're, they're practicing again. It's an amazing, incredible energy that Thank God for it. <laughs> I think it's exciting, like just like people just playing here and like one happy, big happy mariachi family. So it's nice, yeah. Because they all motivate each other. I notice that kids motivate kids. So uh, to see that, it's incredible. And I know that the future of mariachi is, is in good hands. I 
ustedes en Spanish. <laughs> pues muy alegre cuando se juntan todos, lo, lo disfrutan todos. And it's pretty cool. It's, it's catching, it's very um, contagious. So contagious that it creates a, a feeling of belonging, a feeling of unity. It brings people together in a very special way. Like, the whole thing is about feeling the music as a group, not just yourself. It's a family. It's being able to play with them, to go along with them, and just making one. As a whole group, you make one. Yeah, and just enjoy it. Oh my God, this guy is like the feeling the same thing I'm feeling. It's magical. And I think once they go into the real world, one of the workforce or whatever, helps them work as a team and, and, and to generate that, also focus. You know, a violinist, to play in tune, boy, do they have to focus. Viol the violin is the most difficult instrument, I think, in the world. The violin is very difficult. And they have to learn to focus. And also, when you're when you you are interpreting this music, you have to focus in, in the way that you're gonna uh, uh, interpret a phrase. And that helps them also, I think, in the schools. They have a sense of belonging. Their grades get better. It just it, it's really really good for the community. It could probably be caught in one word, and that is pride. They they're proud. Uh, of what they're doing, they're proud of what the music means to them, where it comes from, that they're a part of that. But beyond that, the passion drives it deeper into their souls and into their whole community. You just don't play because, oh, well, oh it's a mariachi. You play because it's in your heart. I think having a sense of belonging and a sense of pride keeps kids on the right track and, and I think we have a good future to look forward to when I see those kids and where they're taking us and where they're going to be leading us. started really small and now look at how many students in a great place we growing because we are doing it for our kids. <laughs> yes. Many of those who attend the program come as part of a school or community mariachi. Others come on their own. Either way, Friday night represents a climax of the week-long conference. Everyone, regardless of age or skill level, gets to perform. And the parents are there, the families are there, and it's a great source of pride for all of them. And that their parents or their tios or their abuelitas are seeing them play and they're so proud. And the abuelita, you know, the grandmother saying, I used to sing that when I was a kid. That's the beauty of this music, you know? There's no generation gap when it comes to this music. You know, I don't know if you've, you've dissected some of the words of these songs, you know? These songs are love songs and stuff like that. You know, what are little kids gonna know about love songs? But they, they do have a true passion for it. That's, like, that's the essence of mariachi, of true mariachi. It's like, wow, you know, we woke up and there's this music that is giving young people something to dream about, something to strive for, to become better at and just feeling as part of something bigger and keeping that mariachi flame going, that they're responsible for that. Here is the heart of Mariachi Spectacular de Albuquerque. It's here. 
and it's here. And it's here as well. Here is all of the pride, every bit of the dedication, and the deep passion for the art of mariachi. I was never really into mariachi until I came here to Albuquerque. Once I came here, I was, I was in. I've been waiting for this conference since the last one ended. I think this is a place to come. This program here in Albuquerque, New Mexico is doing an incredible job. Bye.